Washington, this is VOA News. U.S. expresses displeasure over Thailand military coup. Russia and China veto accountability on Syria. I'm Ray Kugo reporting from Washington. The United States expressed disappointment with a military takeover of Thailand's government, saying there is no justification for the coup. Secretary of State John Kerry voiced concern about reports that senior Thai political leaders are being detained by the military. He called for their immediate release and a return to democracy. Secretary Kerry spoke in Washington Thursday just hours after Thai General Prayut Chanocha announced the coup two days after declaring martial law. He said the move suspending the Constitution was aimed at restoring order and pushing through political reform. The general also ordered the country's acting prime minister and cabinet to report to the army. A bomb attack in China's western Xinjiang killed at least 31 people at a busy market in the capital of the ethnically divided region. The official Xinhua News Agency says more than 90 people were also hurt when two sport utility vehicles plowed into a group of people in downtown Urumqi near Renmin Park. Xinhua says one of the vehicles exploded. It is not yet known what happened to the second vehicle and there's been no claim of responsibility for the attack. China and Russia vetoed a U.N. Security Council resolution that would have referred an investigation of human rights abuses in Syria to the International Criminal Court in The Hague. The U.S. Margaret Bashir reports from U.N. headquarters in New York. The draft resolution received 13 votes in favor that the effort to seek accountability for mass murders, rapes, torture, and other grave crimes committed by all parties to the conflict failed because Russia and China exercised their right of veto. It is the fourth time since the conflict began in March 2011 that the two council members have blocked action on Syria. Without the council's authorization, the case of Syria will not be referred to the ICC. Cases can only go to the court if the council refers them, or if the country in question is a party to the treaty that created the court. Syria is not a party. Margaret Bashir, VOA News, the United Nations. The UN Security Council imposed sanctions against Nigerian Islamist group Boko Haram, which has carried out a wave of deadly attacks, along with the recent abduction of almost 300 schoolgirls in Nigeria. Nigeria had asked the committee to add the militant group to the list of al-Qaeda-linked entities that are subject to asset freezes, travel bans, and an arms embargo. Gunmen killed at least 29 people in a late Wednesday attack in a remote village in the northeast. It was the third major attack blamed on Boko Haram this week. Ukraine's acting president says 13 soldiers were killed when pro-Russian separatists attacked a military checkpoint in eastern Ukraine's Donetsk region. President Alexander Turchinov says the separatists attacked the checkpoint using mortars, grenade launchers, and heavy automatic weapons. He says the service members who died gave their lives for Ukraine. The two top vote-getters in the first round of Afghanistan's presidential election are now on the campaign trail for next month's runoff. Aya School has more from Islamabad. Afghanistan is holding a presidential runoff election because none of the eight candidates in the first round of voting held on April 5th were able to secure more than 50% of the vote. Afghans will now choose between frontrunner Abdullah Abdullah and Ashraf Ghani to replace President Hamid Karzai, who is constitutionally barred from a third term in office. Both presidential hopefuls kicked off their campaign in Kabul Thursday. Elsewhere in the capital, Afghan Interior Minister Umar Daudzai told a conference of top police officers that national security forces are fully prepared to keep the Taliban from disrupting the crucial polls. Ayaz Gul for VOA News, Islamabad. 
Iran's president says a comprehensive agreement on curbing his country's nuclear program is very likely by July. Iranian President Hassan Rouhani says that reaching a deal would be achievable, but that it depends on unspecified countries not being allowed to create problems. Mr. Rouhani's comments made during a visit to Shanghai Thursday follow last week's failed round of negotiations in Vienna between Tehran and the five permanent members of the UN Security Council and Germany. The latest U.S. Census statistics show that cities in the American Southwest are growing faster than most other areas, with the regions, including the Texas capital, Austin, showing the largest municipal population growth in the country last year. Seven of the 15 fastest-growing cities are in Texas. I'm Ray Kugel in Washington. That's the latest world news from BOA.